Start by launching hyperlinks directly from within PCB layout, and then open the DDRX wizard. The wizard sets up batch mode simulations by asking a series of questions, such as interface speed, I.O. driver models, on-die termination, and which types of analysis to run. Helpful features of the wizard include auto-recognition of DDR nets across your entire PCB design, including DDR address buses, data buses, and control signals. Supported simulation options include measurement of SI impediments, such as overshoot and undershoot, calculation of read-write leveling for DDR3, and measuring setup and hold margins per JEDX specs. Measurements are based on values from the JEDX specification, but can be altered or modified as required. You can mix and match supported simulation capability and save configurations for future use. After the simulation is completed, the DDRX wizard produces a HTML report. The report shows pass fail status, timing margins, and can then be sorted to show you only the results of interest. All measurements in the report are also linked to the actual simulation waveforms. Clicking on a link brings up the Hyperlinks waveform environment, enabling you to examine the results with more detail and perform more measurements as desired. In addition to the DDRX HTML report, batch mode simulation data can also be opened in the interactive Hyperlinks oscilloscope viewer. This capability lets you explore the simulated data freeform, beyond the single snapshot on simulation data shown in the HTML report. For example, explore SI and timing across the entire data or address bus at the same time. The DDRX wizard lets you quickly run simulations to assess the timing and signal quality of your design, get accurate results easily and ensure your memory interfaces work correctly. 